Sing that the way you were singing it. Then. Do it for the vlog. Welcome back. The art diaries are back. The art school diaries are back. Um, today's the first day of school. It's September 6th, the day after Labor Day, and that's when most school starts. That's when school starts in Canada. So I printed out a printable September calendar, and now I'm just going to try to organize my life, my, um, because it's back to school, baby. It's back to school. So today I have some, well, they're all online today, so I have some asynchronous class this morning. There's no Zoom class this morning, so I'm just going to watch a lecture. I think I have some new readings to do by Saturday, so I'm gonna, probably going to do that a little bit later. Um, and I have another Zoom class at 3.40ish in the afternoon so meanwhile I'm just gonna edit some videos and yeah and try to finish the things that I needed to finish um I think I'm gonna go make coffee I'm, <laughs> I've been telling myself that I'm gonna cut coffee but it's the hardest thing ever right now because I am already tired um yeah I'm just gonna go make coffee now <laughs> accidentally dropped it and I waitlisted it and I just waited and it happened and it worked and it's so happy <sighs> so I'll show you what my courses look right now so this is how it is um oh my goodness okay right now it's Tuesday I have two classes these are online classes the single blocks are online and these multiple blocks are like hybrid, so that means it's partially in person and partially online. So I may or may not drop one of these two because in total this is like 18 credits. And going a full load is probably not the best idea if I want to survive. But these three, wait, these three are for my minors and the rest are for my major so I don't know I'm just gonna first attend all the classes and see if I want to drop any of them yeah okay I had to change because my room's getting really heated up it's super hot right now it was really cold this morning now it's suddenly hot It's like it's coming closer to fall. Um, <sighs> class is in 10 minutes. I'm gonna hop on the Zoom in 10 minutes. I'm just gonna browse the internet before. Oh, 
They want to take me away Throw me in the backseat rainy day Made me promise I wouldn't say If it was up to me you know I would've stayed Today is Thursday. I have my painting class, which is online. Um, it's gonna be, I think it's like a 12:30 class right now. It's 9:50. So I'm like feeling a little bit hungry. So I think I'm just gonna go make myself a quick late breakfast, lunch-ish kind of meal, and finish uploading my video. Yes, I'm, I'm editing the stationary haul video. Um, I never thought that I would do a video like this. I actually had lots of fun because it was very therapeutic, at least for me, to edit and make a video like that. Because I've always wanted to try, but never had the chance to. <laughs> Okay, I'm back from lunch. Um, my class starts in an hour, but I just wanted to pop in and say that this is the last full day of my full head. Full head? Full hair. Because I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna chop it off. Like, when I say chop it off, it's not even a bob. It's like gonna be like really short. Sort of like a pixie cut, but um, yes, I'm gonna, I'll show you a picture. So tomorrow after, I'm going to school tomorrow to, for a curation class and after that I'm going to go to the hair salon and I get, I'm going to get myself a haircut and um, I'm going to show you how short I want it to be. It's going to be like this short. I really like this hair. I've had short hair before. My Okay, by the way, my bangs are a little bit short for this kind of style, but I don't care at this point. Um, yeah, so... I've done short hair before like this. So I know for a fact that I don't look bad in this hair, so I'm not too afraid, but I'm just kind of excited because I been struggling with my hair the past few months because it's just too long and I permed it like a year ago and it's just much harder to take care of if it was permed such time ago because my hair is quite damaged and it's curly up till here and there's really nothing I can do other than a shortcut like that so I'm just gonna go go big you know what I mean go big so that is gonna happen Toxic glass, right on the wall Tearing up tickets from the rock and roll show To rhythm, to forget On my way, to take a bit Lost my dog, with him all day I don't have a dog, I just wanted to play But John's all gone, Hall's used up I let Lassie in and start the truck I was literally 
running. But it never I thought I was gonna be late. I missed my bus. Stupid. Oh, but I missed it right in front of me. I never like CD. Not ideal. Roll the windows down and listen to the summer breeze. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I don't hate it. I think I hated it at the salon, but now that I look at it in the natural light, oh my gosh, this is coming up. It doesn't look so bad. I look like my brother. Someone send help. come back in here and just sort of give you guys an update on what I did the past summer and yeah I um before I go forward and talk about my summer I just want to say thank you to Filmora for sponsoring this video um I'm going to share right now is having a back to school campaign and if you participate this campaign you can win a macbook air participate this campaign all you have to do Share your back to school moments on your social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You can use any Wondershare software to enter the contest with bonus chance of winning. And don't forget to tag Wondershare with at Wondershare and hashtag back to school creations so they can see your entry. Okay, I'm um, sorry for the sudden change of outfit and everything. Um, my clip just disappeared. I filmed it, but so I'm refilming it right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you what my favorite features are in Filmora. 
and for Filmora, I think one of their greatest features is that it's it's very simple and easy to use. So I'm going to show you some of the features that I use and something that might be useful for you. So here it is. So the very first thing I want to show you is that their subtitles are already sort of customized in a way. What I would do is I would go to titles and then I would go to subtitles and then from the subtitles there's uh, many different options available so I would choose from that and for this case I'm going to use subtitle 7 for my video um, here in the trailer so this was a little intro to my thing and I changed the position and I'm changing the size and everything as well Overall, Filmora's um, usage is very customizable and very simple to use. Another thing I want to simply add is their abundance of effects in their library. Um, a lot of their features are really beginner friendly and one of the features that I use, I like to use in my videos is the effects um, section. And in the effects section, there's actually multiple different effects in there. And I'm just going to show you one of my favorite, which is TV wall um, effect. Like a multiple split screen of, of the same um, clip. And I decided that I'm going to put this in the, in the video to make it a little bit more interesting. I think it kind of reminds me of, of the early 2000s sort of wall TV store vibes. And I really like that. So in and I just drag and drop and if you double click the effects you can get actually go into the settings and change the splits. So those are my favorite features of Winter Share of Laura. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, and I'll go straight back into my summer update and thank you to Filmora for sponsoring this video. So I've been pretty absent in my social media and YouTube, um, especially YouTube over the summer because I thought I needed a break from from the grind. <laughs> so basically, I had so many plans for my channel and for, I guess, myself to actually use the summer as a chance to sort of creatively work harder and find different mediums and everything but I realized how burnt out I was from everything um, so I basically kind of decided that I, need, I needed a break so I was pretty silent in my channel for the past month or so so I just wanted to give you guys an update and what I have kind of learned in those little periods of my life um yeah so basically i took a break and i'm happy that i did because sometimes sharing your life to the internet is really really fun and exciting but at other times you're constantly in um like work mode i feel like i was like that i was constantly like thinking about filming every little second when i could just fully enjoy myself with my friends or family and i found it harder to do that because i it was having a difficult time uh, kind of displacing myself from from work and from like family or like personal time I kind of find it difficult because YouTube is something like logging your memories and the reason why I whole started this whole channel was to kind of log my life and log my creative journey and as I was doing it over the summer I was kind of lost creatively because I wasn't doing a lot of creative things and I was kind of forcing myself to do creative things. and yeah I was like I need a break and I took a break and it felt good it felt awesome um and over the summer I kind of spent the summer like the summer my original plan was like finish a paint finish like two or three paintings do lots of paintings and then 
maybe go rent a studio out and then go to a studio to do some printmaking and also I had some like ideas of like opening a sh up a shop of my own in, on Etsy or something and I had like so many different plans um, ready for me but I decided that I wasn't going to do that because okay my niece is outside and she's playing so I'm just going to start recording on my phone now so So yeah, basically my life has been, my goal for this summer was very intense and very driven. Um, but I realized this summer might be the last summer where I can actually fully enjoy a summer until I graduate. And because I think like starting from third year, you're really kind of thinking about, you know, your career and everything. So I'm thinking about doing co-op in the third year or something like that which is an option that's up in the air right now but yeah so I'm, I just want to see what what third and fourth year leads me to in the summer so so I'm either thinking about going on a co-op program um, or going to a, stu a study abroad uh, for just for the summer it's like a summer intensive program and I'm kind of interested in that. So I'm like open to see what the summer offers me for the next two years. But for this summer, I was kind of letting myself enjoy the moment. And yeah, I'm happy that I did that. I uh, I went to Mexico with my family um, we, for a week. So we kind of had that little... Um, vacation to ourselves I didn't film a lot there because my phone was broken which I sort of wish that didn't happen but at the same time I think because my phone was broken I I sort of enjoyed the moment and didn't vlog anything and um what else I went camping with good friends um I think that was my favorite trip so far this year I went hiking. It was such a great hike. Um, I like hiking, but it was intense, but it was a good hike. Um, it was a good hike. I think I wanted to sort of put myself out there this year and kind of explore my local areas. And I know that British Columbia, which is the province I'm living in, has beautiful mountains. And I never really went out and explored the mountains here. And I did this summer, and I'm like, why did I didn't why didn't I do this any sooner? <laughs> so yeah, this year I went hiking with friends, and I went swimming at the lake, and it was it was lots of wholesome, sweet time, uh, times with good friends and good people, good food. Um, food is very important for me. Um, yeah, just just talking about it makes me so happy. And I'm glad I made those memories this year. And yeah, so basically I did lots of just taking my time off from the idea of of cre creating or like being creative. Um, I still did lots of sketches and other things, but I just didn't want to film my process because I had this sort of pressure. Yeah, I just had this pressure and I didn't want to kind of force myself into that position at the moment. And I I know for a fact that my content is um, very catered to students and art school students. And I noticed that not a lot of people are interested in my life outside of school anyway. So I'm just like, why Why do I, <laughs> you know, like it's, I kind of felt discouraged too uh, midway as the summer went on and I kept making videos. I had lots of videos that I really, really loved because personally, like I made lots of videos that were very personal to me. Like I would go out with friends, and make, you know, take videos together and felt like logging my memories is so precious and nice but like not a lot of people appreciate 
the videos that I as much as I did. So I think that part made me go like, oh, I don't want to do filming videos that people won't watch, which was never my intention to to um continue on with this video, like with this whole YouTube channel thing in that sort of context. My whole context was vlogging my creative journey and somehow it became this blurred line of creative journey and personal life and I think that just made me go like whoo and yeah I'm glad I, I kind of took that break and I'm kind of like repositioning myself so that I can kind of fully commit um more like art content content in this um in this channel and overall something like that and I kind of want to talk more openly about my creative um future um too so I feel like I don't really talk about that in this channel a lot. I just open up to you guys and do whatever I do in school and I don't really talk about what I want to do in the future yeah so like for me I really like to do uh paintings and um printmaking I know a lot of printmakers aren't painters and painters aren't printmakers because they're like two totally opposite. I think I like to think that they're two totally opposite um, sets of practices because they kind of work differently. And printmaking is very step one, step two, step three kind of process, while painting is a lot more flexible. Um, and it takes and it's just paint on surface. While for printmaking, it's it's a lot more of brainstorming the process and um, yeah, it's just it's a lot different function of fine arts. And for me, I really like both of them because I sort of have a design background, and printmaking is sort of in the in the in between of design and fine arts. And I really like painting because I really love to play with colors and the fluidity of painting. I was like, what can I do with these two sort of um, things that I really, really love? And I don't really talk about this a lot in my channel, but I really talk about it a lot with my peers in, at school that I love to make repeated designs or repeated patterns and, and just anything that's sort of like in a way that can be repeated on a surface. So I do want to kind of branch out to surface designing um, while also painting on the side. So like in the future, I would like to work as a surface designer and sort of make practical art that can be used on like wallpaper or like interior design or anything that I can that you can think of. Um, yeah, so I'm in, so I'm very interested in that. So my goal, I guess, is to kind of go to a summer intensive course about textile design and surface design and all that. So yeah, so this semester I think I'm gonna sort of um, focus on printmaking and sort of have this dialogue of repeated patterns on different surfaces and I'm still brainstorming on what I want to do this semester because this semester it's all on, all on me I have two self-directed classes so I just need to figure out what I want to do this semester <laughs> so yeah that, that 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 is it that's that's my current update well I think that's all I'm I'm kind of rambling now um I'll see you guys in the next clip, the next clip is the continuation of the week. So, bye. <laughs>
right now, but um, today's Sunday. Um, that's my family. I'm just gonna prepare a few things before I go to class tomorrow. I have my first um, printmaking class of the fall semester and Yeah, we're, we're just gonna Yeah, so I'm just gonna do that and I need to bring some prints that I did from last semester so I'm just gonna go downstairs and find some prints that I made Nobody 